So today, I'm going to show you how to solve equations with fractions in them, but I'm going to show you how to do it in two different ways. So if you notice, like I've got the same equation twice. All right, so 2 thirds x minus 11 equals 7. My first thing I want to do is undo the minus 11, so I'm going to add 11. But what I do to one side of the equal sign, I have to do it to the other. And when I do that, the 11s are going to undo each other. And 2 thirds x drops down, equals drops down, and then I've got 18. Now, for this fraction, you can think of this as 2 divided by 3. So to undo the dividing by 3, I'm going to multiply by 3. But what I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. When I do that, the threes undo each other. I'm left with 2 times x. On the other side, I have 54. And then for my last step, to undo the 2, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And when I do that, the 2's undo each other. x equals 54 divided by 2 is 27, and there's my answer. All right, so there's an easy way to undo equations with fractions in them. Think of the fraction as two different steps, right? You've got 2 divided by 3, so we undo the divide by 3, and then we undo the multiply by 2. Now, I'm going to show you a different way to do it, but this time I'm going to treat the fraction as just one whole number. All right, so we're going to start off the same way. We're going to add 11 to both sides of the equal sign. It's the exact same equation. So these undo each other. 2 thirds x drops down equals drops down, and 7 plus 11 is 18. Now, to undo this fraction, what I'm going to do is multiply by the reciprocal, or in other words, the fraction flipped over. So instead of 2 over 3, I'm going to multiply by 3 over 2. But what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. Now, here's why this works. If you multiply fractions, you do the top times the top and the bottom times the bottom. 3 times 2 is 6 for the top. 2 times 3 is 6 on the bottom. So we end up with 6 over 6, which is 1 whole. So I end up with 1 whole x. In other words, these two fractions pretty much undo each other to form 1. And that's what we want. We want 1x. So we're basically eliminating the fraction by doing that. All right. Now on the other side, I just do 18 times 3 over 2. And you can do this by hand if you want to. 18 times 3, 1 times 2, and divide it. Also, some calculators can do this too. 18 times 3 over 2. And it'll just tell you the answer is 27. And that's our answer. All right, so there's two different ways to solve the same equation. One by undoing the fraction in two steps, and the other way by un undoing the fraction in one step by multiplying both sides by the reciprocal. So hopefully this helped you. If it did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.